the class we're going to attempt a sample problem involving the calculation of a confidence interval for the population mean so here's our sample problem we have a paper manufacturer is making eight and a half by eleven uh, paper and of course over time the manufacturer will take several uh, samples to determine whether or not the specifications around the length and the width are in fact being met so a one particular sample or one such sample uh, involved a hundred sheets of paper and the length of the paper was actually measured so it yielded a sample mean of 10.998 inches with a standard deviation of 0 0.02 inches so we want to find a 95 percent confidence interval for the true mean length of the sheets of paper being produced so let's just see uh, the kind of information that we have. We know that it should be 11 inches, which basically should be the population mean, but the process varies. And so we have a sample mean and a sample standard deviation, but we also have a sample size. I'm just going to switch screens here so that I could go to uh, the tablet so I could work this particular problem. So just bear with me for a moment. Okay, <clears throat> so here we are. So what do we know we're given? We're given a, we believe that the population mean should be 11 inches. Well, that's what it should be, but it may not actually be that. And um, we take a sample of 100. We found a sample mean of 10.998 inches and then a sample standard deviation of 0 0.02 inches all right <clears throat> so we want a find a 95 percent confidence interval for the mean let's find that so find a 95 percent confidence interval oops for mu okay so what do we need to do is to identify the right formula if you look we do not know the population standard deviation so in this case we know that uh, Sigma is unknown and so if we look at the sample size the central limit theorem should tell us that we can use a normal population <clears throat> as an approximation for the sampling distribution of x bar in which case then we would use the following formula x bar plus or minus z s over the square root of n. So notice that I'm not using sigma, I'm actually using s. All right. So all we need to do is just plug in the right numbers here. We know that x bar is 10.998. What is z? Well, for a 95% confidence interval involving the normal distribution, we know that z is 1.96, and our standard deviation is 0 0.02. We divide that by the square root of 100. So for those of you that uh, are wondering, well, where did this uh, 1.96 come from? If we take the standard normal, and we want a 95% confidence interval, that means the area in here must be 95%, 0.95. But uh, our textbook, remember, works with just half of this. So if I look at just half of the distribution, that portion is 0.475. The corresponding Z for that is 1.96. Remember the 0.475 comes from 0.95 divided by 2 because it's half of the area. So taking that information, we could see that if we multiply 1.96 by the standard error, then our confidence interval will be 10.998 plus 
plus or minus and uh, when we do the computation is 0 0.00392 0 0.00392 all right so if we expand that we will get 10.9 9408 and so the mean is less than or equal to this greater than, sorry greater than or equal to this value or 11.00192 all right and so that's our answer for in terms of the confidence interval um, this is what we we calculated uh, for this question so that's our answer right here so we could write a statement that says we are 95% confident the true mean length of the paper lies between 10.99408 and 11.00192 inches. We have a 5% chance of being wrong. That means that there's a 5% chance the interval does not contain the mean. Now the question is, is this manufacturer producing 11, um, um, an average length of 11 inches? We cannot say that they are not because 11 inches is actually contained within the interval. So if you look at the interval, 11 inches is contained within that interval. And so therefore it is quite possible that the manufacturer is producing um, to an average of 11 inches, okay?